Hi guys, I wasn't going to load this. I have to keep going. I can't stop. Somehow I have to get this message through. This is a bit messy, but it has to come before. Hi guys. Right, I'm going to play hero. American, American's greatest hero. Okay, I'm not going to play it. There's no time. That's the song the so Lord gave me. You can turn it up. Dana, I ended up on this guy's channel. This channel, I just want you to see that he only posts originals, right? That's his icon there. It's a mirror. He knows. He knows. I'm not saying he's turned up. I'm just saying he knows. See, it's originals. Now, when I was looking, I looked at what he had on there. He's got Lady Gaga, but he also has the Black Eyed Peas, which I don't really follow at all. So I read a few comments, some true comments like this one. This person says, true story. Yeah, we're living it now. Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. That is what is happening now. I need a hero. That song can't be turned up. Sorry, Mark, it can't. I just, just it was disgusting to me. Um, not as bad as I will survive, though. And then... I'm going to play that. I just have to remind you in case you've forgotten. On 26th of the 11, I wrote this. I saw a black African American female diva. I didn't know who she was. I left a blank. She's in a white dress. Yes, when she sings her original, she wears white. It was, and I know now, Gloria Gaynor. I found out on the 3rd of the 1st, 2020, I put her name in. She plays in New York. She sings in New York when the apple falls. It is about the white horse. Her initials are G and G. G, G. Giddy up, right? Released for Christmas. The white horse. Like Mariah Carey. The queen of Christmas. Who stole Christmas last year. All I want for Christmas is you. It's sinister. Well, she's getting her present because the Lord's told the prophets, I have not seen this music video yet. Whoever this black artist is, this diva, I haven't seen the music video yet. I don't even know who it is. Is it Beyonce? It's someone, some other. I saw a face. I saw her. I didn't recognize her. I don't really know Gloria Gaynor. But that's who it is, okay? So the Lord showed me on the 26th of the 11th, 2020. He's a subtle beast. This is New York on New Year's Day. Remember, now I know what happened on New Year's Day. I found out today the birds fell from the sky in Rome. And, um, this is true. Actually, everyone has a part from this song. What do you think they know? Well, in everyone's story, not me though, people have survived, right? The Lord has flipped it. I'm going to share my testimony very quick. Amy's dad was a wife beater. I didn't believe the lady who told me that beforehand because I naively was visiting her house and having showers and walking around doing jazzercise and I didn't know she was a lesbian. She invited me to a party and there was a woman there and 
one of her friends came up and said, oh, just because you're in love with Lisa. And I had no idea, right? I'd given her one of my paintings. The penny dropped. She told me, <laughs> don't be with Robbie. He's a wife beater. He beat me up once before I was um, pregnant. We went to anger management together. I said, if he hit me again, I would leave. I went through the pregnancy one week before having Amy. I was having Brankston Hicks. I never nagged him. I was learning not. I was learning to be a woman that wasn't controlling. That was what I was learning. And I was doing a good job of it, but I did say to him one night, a week before we had the baby, that I needed him to stay at home. He didn't drink, but he went and drank that night. I was sitting cross-legged on the bed. I'd been having Braxton Hicks, and he walked up to me, and he king-punched me in the head. And he bragged about how he can hit people without leaving a bruise. I sent him to the couch. Now, it reminds me of the word that the Lord has brought back full circle. I will link it. I don't need to read it again. I got it the evening before the election. I saw Billy Takahika on a couch being kicked. Three times he got hit, and every time I went up concerned. Right, I said I'm not going to share it, but I am. So this is before the election. On the 17th. Sorry about the shade. It's not good for reading. <coughs> On the 17th, here's the picture. See, two men on a couch. One's all scrunched up at one end. There's a TV. And one is at the other end of the couch. I'm just going to read it. Now there's this bad guy. He's a bully of sorts in this dream. He's a fella that I recall is also my enemy. Okay, so this guy at the end is also my enemy. He's also someone that had visited me. And I had met up with. It's this Antichrist bully spirit, okay? It was some type of car park where it was set, like a new construction, underground civic centre. It was like I was in this building watching a cross at a lounge set with a two-seater couch, TV at the end. Now on this couch was two big blokes. One at the far end. Had his feet outstretched. And the other was sitting with his legs up on the couch. Between any space there was between them was this fella's legs. Now it got sporadically violent. The fella at the far end was unpredictable. He was sitting quiet and then suddenly lashing out at the other. I saw him go at the guy with his arms and fists. Now I tended to that man at the end of the couch by the TV at once. I ran over to him and I saw his hand and arm over his face. 
I pulled it back and he was bleeding, swollen from where he was cracked in his jaw and lip. Then neither men moved from the couch. And again, the other man unpredictably served a blow, but this time it was his leg he kicked and he followed it by a punch. Now I ran over a second time and this man was covering his eye. It was as I pulled his hand away, all bloodshot and bleeding. Okay. Second time he'd lashed out. Then a third lashing. A violent attack soon after that I sat back. It was the third time. <clears throat> this man, this man being hit, he cried out. Now that crying out is the number of the firstborn pup last New Year's. It means cry out. I have linked that timestamp. It's about crying out for deliverance. It's about demons leaving and the sound they make when they leave. Have a look at the timestamp that the first pup, it was the first time I ever did a timestamp and looked it up in Strong's and I've been doing it ever since. So he cried out. Now he was covering his head with both arms. His legs were killed up at the end of the couch. He was almost on top of the box television that was at the end. Now this hook, this hit, took the full weight of this big fella's body that moved off the couch from his body moved off the couch from sh from a shoulder down through both legs to kick him in the front of his face it was like man from Atlantis you know how he flicks he just suddenly did this and he kicked this man in the face now this is how I felt about the man at the end of the couch I felt like I knew this man that was getting beaten. He was like an old boyfriend. He was there in an old fashioned chivalry, you know, the old fashioned chivalry. He was standing his ground for me. And he was defending me in some way. Yet he was not hitting back. This time I rushed over as I heard him say, This is key. He said, my eyes are hiding. My eyes are hiding. Now force, forcefully I had to unwrap his arms from his head. I looked at his eyes to see what he meant. Now I expected to see his eyes. Now it was so violent. I expect that they'd be hanging out maybe from their sockets. But he was right. It was like they were hiding right into his head. Like what you might see when you look into a disfigured blind man. Now, I could only see like white or deep back through the opening of his lids. I woke from this violent, it was a really violent image, and I felt like the man doing this damage was like, it was like all the kids with behavior problems, you know, with letters after their name. And the Lord had spoken to me a few days ago about attention deficit disorder. A, and that's what, that's what we all have. That's what this enemy has like bipolar, unpredictable outbursts, two sudden changes of demeanor. So you couldn't see it coming. Yet, of course, after the first violent outburst and the second, the second two were predictable.
Okay, so once he was hit the first time, the second two should have been predictable. Yet this man, he stayed there by the end of the TV on the couch. He was taking it all for me. Now, it was actually distressing, it says, when I was saying this, like I was crying. Now, look what I wrote. What a hero. What a blind fool. And then I was lying awake thinking, what's this about? Shall I get up and write it? Now, that's when I had the vision of the landslide. It's all happened before the election. Okay, I walked back to the caravan. There was a landslide. There were two billboards. Now, the faces of Billy and Jamie were cut out and it was all wrecked on top of this landslide. It's advanced NZPP. Billy is now a type of... Look, I don't want to read any more. Basically, that came to pass because the election was a landslide. And it went, everyone knows, to labour. So the Lord showed me that before it happened. But I thought that the man on the couch was Billy. The one at the end being beaten. The hero, the blind hero. Okay? Billy, this man outbursts there's a tv it's like it's the media right so we've watched these hit pieces i thought it was all over because i keep sitting back and then it hits again and i come up to tend to him but this last time he's a blind fool a hero and his eyes are hiding he said my eyes are hiding It was like he was a hero. That's what I wrote in my word. That's what I mean. Billy Tikahika is a hero. I'm not on that walker because it's Obama. It's the Antichrist spirit, this whole hero thing. Anyway, the third time he got hit was a whopper. I pulled his hands off his eyes because he said three times, my eyes are hiding, my eyes are hiding, my eyes are hiding. I expected to see his eyes maybe popped out or something, or bruised, bloodshot. But when I pulled his hands off his face, I couldn't see his eyes. They were in his head. And when I watched that clip of the birds... The first death, the birds, the locusts, the first death was a man and it was gruesome and his eyes were picked out. That is basically what I saw, Billy Tikahika's eyes. So I wouldn't be on that walker because he's not sealed and the locusts will get him. Do you understand? Oh, and so many people are. So this is interesting. This person says here, I survived 21st 12, 2012. It was supposed to be the end of the world. Everybody survived to the end of the world. Nothing to do here. Timing is everything. This song is at the end of the world. That's why Tribute was born on the timestamp. She was. That means the end. The latter. Daniel. That's why this song, I Will Survive, has that comment. This person's trying to... They always try and confuse you, put you off the track. This is not the original version. Yes, it is. In that version, it says crush. 
So now I can post. I know who the hero is. It doesn't say hurt. It's the message, it message says in the crush. Bottle, the romantic movie. I walked out the door. This is what happened. I had the baby. I had Amy. I stayed calm. I didn't leave because I was like a mother bear. <clears throat> I needed to stay in the nest. I needed to stay and have the baby. But three months after Amy had settled, he walked in and said, what are you doing? I was looking at a newspaper. This is Amy's dad. I said, I told you if you hit me, I would leave. I was looking for a flat. Then I walked out the door. I walked out the door. Don't stay around here. You're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me? It's not hurt. Weren't you the one who tried to crush me with goodbyes? You think I'd stumble? You think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. So think of that story. The Lord knows my testimony. Damn. Who walked Glory. out the door? I did. But in that song, I will survive. Who's the hero? Robbie's the hero. He's turned out looking like the hero. Come on then, story. up you get. My daughter threw me under the bus. She said, Mum has stopped me from seeing all my fathers. She's lied to me my whole life. She's told me lies about them. I'm telling you the absolute truth. When I walked out the door, walked out the door, I walked out on him. He threw a plate of steak and eggs on my back. But the song I was singing when I was walking was this one. I am woman, hear me roar. Because I was a feminist artist. And I wasn't turned up. That happened about six months later. So the Lord has given me something about green eggs and ham. And I'm pretty much going to go there. So you have to flip it. So who are the heroes? They're all liars. They're all liars. They're telling you they're heroes. They're not. They're Robbie, not Robbie lied to Amy. Said he was a hero. Out the door. We're walking out the door. We're coming out of her. We're leaving. Because we can see them. Just like Phil said in the song. So now we get to the black eyed peas. I know what the black eyed peas are. I see the black eyed peas as well, suddenly. They are in my story, The Princess and the Pea. So, I'm going to play that video soon. I would have already played it, possibly. Now, God has turned up fables. So, I'm sending this. They are the sensitive ones in the spirit. They are the ones that go. They are the ones that walk out the door. Okay. I'm getting off track. It's supposed to be about Billy. Okay, and it will be about Billy. But if I don't do this now, I never will. And it's important. You need to know what the Lord is doing. History. Okay, here we go. So this is the fable that the Lord showed me because I remembered that I scribed a word about the princess and the pea. Now it is so far back. Here we go. Here we go. So here it is here. Just in case you don't know the story. Socratica presents the princess and the pea. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a princess. But she would have to be a real princess. He traveled all over the world to find one. 
but nowhere could he get what he wanted. There were princesses enough, but it was difficult to find out whether they were real ones. There was always something about them that was not as it should be. So he came home again and was sad, for he would have liked very much to have a real princess. One evening, a terrible storm came on. There was thunder and lightning and the rain poured down in torrents. I'm going to stop this. Now, Paul said to me that he has been reading about Exodus. This morning, I wanted to bring Exodus, but instead, I had to bring the birds and the locusts. Now, when he shared about Exodus, he said that there's a wind coming, a storm. And I said, why? Because remember, Trump gets blown off his feet. And people are saying, is that man dead? He gets blown off his feet at the bus stop. Biden is on the bus. He's joyful, happy, happy. <clears throat> I'm curious about the storm. But Paul says, it's the storm, it's the wind that brings the locust. Now, he told me that yesterday. He is hearing. Because here's the storm. Suddenly a knocking was heard at the city gate, and the old king went to open it. And the rain poured down in torrents. Suddenly a knocking was heard at the city gate, and the old king went to open it. It was a princess standing out there in front of the gate. But good gracious, what a sight the rain and the wind had made her look. Outside the city gate, like the vagabonds, Matthew twenty-two eleven, Paul the Baptist, baptism day. The 22nd of the 11th, 2020. That's when I got the word. Because I knew that date about the Master's Feast. Nobody had time to come. So the princess was coming from outside the gate. The water ran down from her hair and clothes. It ran down into the toes of her shoes and out again at the heels. And yet she said that she was a real princess. Well, we'll soon find that out, thought the old queen. But she said nothing, went into the bedroom, took all the bedding off the bedstead, and laid a pea on the bottom. Then she took 20 mattresses and laid them on the pea, and then 20 eiderdown beds on top of the mattresses. On this, the princess had to lie all night. In the morning, she was asked how she had slept. Oh, very badly, said she. I have scarcely closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in the bed, but I was lying on something hard so that I am black and blue all over my body. It's horrible. Now they knew that she was a real princess because she had felt the pea right through the 20 mattresses and the 20 eiderdown beds. Nobody but a real princess could be as sensitive as that. So the prince took her for his wife for now he knew that he had a real princess and the pea was put in the museum where it may still be seen if no one has stolen it. There. That is a true story. That is a true story. Do you hear that? The other ones that walk out the door. There. Now that is a true story. I'm going to try and read these words. This is my call. You're a tree, a unique tree. A one-off type. Are you Lisa? You come and you sit. They come and sit and eat of you. 
fruit, which can can continues to reproduce, but there are no other ones like you that are created that sustain the revival fire to the south, west, east, north, the nation and beyond as they go out. There's a storm in there, Glory. Don't worry about it. You'll be alright. She's worried. Yeah, am I going to show right. this whole thing? Glory's going to run off soon. It's okay. It's nice that she's here, though, because her puppies are down the hallway and she's come to see me. I'm sorry. I'm preoccupied. I really don't beautiful. Know going to. I am going to. I'll I get round to, to it. The Lord gave me the word about the princess and the pea. Yeah, so I just want to find that, guys. I've already read these words, I think. Because God has only got me to reread these words. They're all from the glory heart. Look. It's glorious. That's your theme song. The 30th of the 6th, Praise 2018. In the harvest. Like the dwarfs, happy, whistle as they go. Joy, exuberance, nothing phony. Just real honest love and exertion for the kingdom of the living God. The Lord will educate all and each will know their place. This is what we're coming into, guys. A field will and is prepared for each. They will have individual tools to work it. It will be an insum not it, it will not be insurmountable by no means. In fact, they will complete it and come to me for more. They will be called insatiable people. They can't stop giving and getting for God. They just won't stop. They will confound the onlookers as they ponder where do they get the energy. It is like a solar power, it costs nothing, but it has a continual source. We must not disappoint the critics by being less than made for the kingdom. Respect is everything to these ones, and ours is a gospel of greatness, but not theirs. Ours is, and God's, together we belong to something many can't grasp or even conceive but in hearts i have peace like listening those found under the mattress of a sensitive and prone to intimacy princess the lord turned up the fable softly she will be perceptive she will listen feel and look she will see the difference recognize the glory Speak the truth to declare your godless end. Issue with those who believe only in themselves and the fruit they throw to rot and gloat on the pigs. They eat it, so foolishly believing it is sustenance. The meat is foul and cannot be consumed. Their source is disgusting and will be expelled from this world. But first we come together, we gather, we sing, be merry and shout. Hey, the Lord is real. He is wondering if you are ready. Do you have time on your hands for love? Are you ready? By being less than made for the sale of the kingdom. Respect is everything to these. And ours is a gospel of greatness. Oh, here we go. I'm reading it again. But in the hearts I have peace, like those found under the mattress of a sensitive and prone to intimacy princess. Okay, so that's just part of the word. That's the black that eyed peas. Because they are mocking reminded us. reminded me of it. And it's sort of funny. And it's just that gold trail. The princess and the pea. Now I know. Right, I'm going to say something. Jonathan Clark has been taken off YouTube for seven days. Not happened before. We're not gonna, we, we wouldn't even hear about him for seven days, except he's got another channel. So find his channel, 
and he's putting out a series for beginners. If you've never watched him, you need to watch the series. You might have a week before this happens. You need to hear from the angel of the church of Philadelphia. Are you from that church? I am because I've heard him. I've seen the door. I know how to turn everything up. I know how to turn the key. The message he brought was, in the Vatican, there is a dragon. There are two faces on each of the four corners. He looked up the word dragon. Do you know what it means? It means look. That was in my word. What the black IPs are. They know about this word. They know that the Lord has turned that fable You can play it again. Up. I said look. That means a dragon that turned up. Is how wet she is when she comes in. Like the Spirit. Like the Holy Spirit. I think I've shown you Glory Dana's flowers. Now we are going to get to, we got Bingo. There's the artist, so I better might, you must have watched as I go. So we're going back now. So I just wanted to mention that. Bingo. That's because I found out what the gorilla um, was. Okay, so we've got the birds. So this is where Gary turned up. Kill count. So the first one killed, in my mind, is the way. It's like Billy Kahika. You're getting king punched. Isn't he? The hero's going to turn on you. The Lord has shown me the Antichrist throws everyone under the bus. Eating a bird. Three canaries in this caravan. So what is the shocking mystery of the birds? They massed by the thousands. Add this up. Tens of thousands. Why? What was their evil intent? You know they are talking about us. This is us. Because we're the bad guys. They flip it. We flip it back at them. Beyond anything you have ever seen. Why? What was their evil intent? The most terrifying. The birds could be the most terrifying motion picture I have ever made. That's a big deal for Alfred Hitchcock to say that. Beyond anything I have ever seen or <coughs> imagined. Sounds to me like the locusts. From Revelations. The birds are the locusts. Not so subtle, subtle that God has not told me today. It's today, the 5th, and look, it's National Bird Day today. Now, before I saw Gary, and he told me about the birds falling from Rome, have a look at this. It's not clear. Mark said he didn't put it on Facebook. He got, can't work out. Someone sent it to him, but it ended up on Facebook. Now, look at these locusts, right? One's got a camera. It's not very clear. But what I looked at, and this was today at 11, before Gary arrived, was this thing that's got its hands around the farmer's throat. Look at these kids. I looked at it and I thought, it looks terrified. like a bird. It's got a beak, like a bird. And that's when Gary turned up. Now, he didn't. that's when Gary turned up and told me about the birds falling from the sky in Rome. So, that's the locust, that's the birds. I, he said, I don't remember posting that. Almost like I didn't do it. No joke. That post came from my friend James. I'll show you how I shared it. Is by accident. I'm not that sure. But I'm glad to see. Okay, so here we go. So his friend James. 
has sent this. Hi, Mark, my brother in Christ. The Lord gave me this confirmation. The locusts are coming from Revelation 9. I saw that, brother. So wild. No words, bro. September. All glory to the King of Kings, Jesus. 